Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create a master report with the report selection parameter to display selected report. So in this report, we'll create a parameter with the list of report names. And once we select a report name, then it will display us that report in the same window. Now we can go back and change or select another report and we will be seeing that report. So we will not be going to the uh, such as uh, drill through reports and all that this, we will stay in the same report uh, but we will see different reports uh, depending on the selection of uh, that parameter so what we will learn uh, we will learn how to create a parameter we will pass some default values uh, and then we will learn how to use the sub report item uh, in SSRS uh, we will uh, learn how to write some expressions on a visibility property uh, of uh, the selected uh, rows now we are gonna go ahead and uh, open SSDT SQL Server Data Tools uh, and take a look. Uh, I have a lot of reports here but I'm going to show you three reports. Uh, so you have column chart report here and then you have a column chart expression report uh, and then you have rich text uh, box report. Uh, so these three reports I'm going to use uh, for this uh, demo. Now once you create these uh, reports uh, uh, and deploy to the server they should be in the same folder and uh, that's how it's going to work. Uh, now go ahead and create a report by right click on the reports tab and add new item report and here you will be providing the name of the report so it is master report in our case if I will try even I do not need to use the data source or data set here in this report because I'm just pointing to these reports it is going to throw, us, throw me an error so I'm going to create a, a data set that will be just empty or uh, that will be a simple uh, um, I, without any reason I can create any anything as a data set so right click here and add data source because the, the report will not uh, let me move forward uh, without creating the data set it will throw error that's why I'm creating this data set so we call this the set of data source sales and then we are going to use a shared data source here hit ok now in the data set uh, I'm going to use that uh, data source I'm going to call this one uh, the set the set of sales and uh, here I'm going to write my query select one as um, ID so this ID will never be used, this data set never be, will be used in this uh, report. So let's go ahead and create a parameter and provide some values to it. Now the report parameter is going to be, uh, we can call this under report selection and uh, prompt we can call this one choose a report. And this is going to be text, it is going to be single value because at one point uh, uh, you want to select only one report for the display and available values here there is a trick you can get these values from table maybe you wanna make a list of the uh, reports and put into some table and get those uh, report names from a table for this parameter that's fine but even you will do it still you have to come back to this report and make some changes I will show you why so here in my case I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, provide some available values uh, right here specify values uh, and we are going to use a uh, column chart and uh, here in the value same things label and values will be same in my case and the next one is a uh, column chart expressions and now I'm gonna use this one copy paste here and the last report that I want to have it uh, rich text box so you can have as many as you want in my case I want to keep it simple so I'm keeping three at least to demonstrate this uh, whole thing now in the default value we can go ahead and provide one default value so that can be called the column chart this is it so your parameter is ready next part is the uh, uh, on the design surfer right, uh, surface right click insert uh, and uh, bring the table now in this case uh, we are not going to use all those columns uh, so let's delete these columns uh, and this one as well and delete the data part now we need to add uh, some more uh, rows here so we are going to go ahead and uh, say insert row below and uh, insert row below 
so that's the case uh, if you have more than three you will be inserting uh, more rows in my case i have only three so that's uh, that's why i'm inserting uh, three rows here right click and go to the insert again and bring the sub report item now bring the sub report item for the other rows as well and click here one more time and get the sub report now for each of the sub report we have to configure it so right click here go to the sub report properties and here we will be using a column chart I'm, I'm naming it so it will help me to you know, write expressions and all that and I would know that always okay this one is used for column chart and uh, here from the drop down you will be selecting the report so column chart is the report hit ok that's where I was talking about like uh, here if you see there are no expression button right here so we can't really go ahead and use the expression even we will provide the values coming from the query for the parameter so every time you will adding a new uh, item in the parameter you have to come back here and add a new row and uh, use the sub report and map it right here so that's the reason you can't really it's not going to be beneficial uh, having a parameter come in values coming from the query or you will hard code right here doesn't matter so sub report property for the second one and this is going to be column chart expressions and now we select that report this is good and the last one is the our rich text box now select the report from here we are all good now if I will go ahead and uh, preview the report uh, it is going to show me the parameter so I see the parameter column chart uh, column chart expression and rich talk text box uh, and uh, on the in the report uh, I see all of them uh, together so three uh, three reports are coming and as I'm using sub reports uh, so they are coming right uh, here one after one uh, so this parameter is not playing any role as of now what I want to do I want to control only the display uh, by using this parameter so if I select column chart I want to see the only the column chart report here if I will select another one I want to see only that report so I'm gonna go ahead and make some changes so come back here right click on this row and say row visibility so here we are going to use some expressions and hide the reports or show the report depending on the parameter value so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the parameter here and say if if my parameter value is equal to column chart that's the first one and that's where I'm writing this expression then yes show me so then don't hide it otherwise hide it so that's how it is gonna work and now I'm gonna copy this one so we will be keep pasting but changing some values so this is good now we are gonna go ahead for the column chart expressions right click here and go to the row visibility and go to the show or hide based on expression write, some, write our expression here and we have to change the value so values column chart expressions this is what we have provided in the parameter hit ok the next one uh, we are going to go ahead on the third one and right click row visibility use the expressions to hide or show and then paste our expressions uh, and uh, here we will be providing a rich text box if uh, the parameter value is going to be equal to this one yes uh, show me otherwise uh, don't show me so that's how it is going to work hit ok and one more thing that we can do here to make our report letter uh, more interactive uh, say insert a text box and uh, we can place some values here and say which uh, report we are currently looking at so go to the expressions uh, and uh, we can call this one currently looking at uh, and then provide the parameter name sorry parameter value that will tell us uh, the report name so we are good here and let's change the color at least a little bit better now we are all good here make it bold let's go ahead and preview the report now in this case as we have provided the default value 
to the parameter column chart so that's why we are seeing the column chart report right here if I'm gonna go ahead and change the column chart expressions and the view report now I'm looking at different report so currently looking at column chart expressions report if I will go ahead and change to the rich text box I will be seeing the rich text box report so that's how you will be controlling the selection of the report that you want to see here uh, by using the parameter there could be a long list uh, or uh, values uh, or uh, report names in this parameter and you can map them and that's how you will be able to control or see the reports from one master reports so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video